Hi, this is Austin at Battleborn Batteries, and today I'm going to be walking you through how to set up the PowerMax Outback charge controller. This is one of the coolest charge controllers that we've tested at Battleborn Batteries simply because it is fully programmable to work with our batteries. All right, so to begin, we kind of cheated a little bit, and we already have the wires connected here and here to our battery. But what you, what you would normally do is first you take off three screws right here on the faceplate. That would come off, and then you're going to want to connect your cables right here to the positive and negative battery and it's all labeled inside of there and then run that straight to your battery after connecting that to the charge controller and then the unit will power up you'll hear the fan click on for a second it'll turn off and the it'll ask you to program the menu and then just go through the supplied um, manual that comes with the unit that'll get you to the setup screen and then once you're at the setup screen you'll see um, in out and it'll show you your voltages and stuff and this is right where you want to be to start setting up. So first you're going to want to press these first two buttons to get to the screen where you can edit the charge settings. Click that. And then you're going to want to move your cursor until it's at charger. Right there. And then press go. And then you'll see all of your current limit absorption and float settings. So you're going to want to scroll down to absorption. Edit that, change it to 14.4 volts. Go float, change that to 13.6 volts. You can edit them by moving that dial. So 13.6, press exit. And you're gonna press the two buttons again. Bring you back to the screen and you wanna move your cursor to EQ for equalization and press go. You wanna set EQ to 14.4 volts. You can change it like this. So 14.4, and then press exit. And then one more thing, if you're using the temperature monitor, the cable that is supplied from here to the battery to monitor the temperature, make sure you disconnect that because our batteries, they don't need temperature compensation. Um, typically with lead acid, you need temperature compensation to account for changes in, changes in temperature. Um, yeah, the charger will either raise the voltage or lower the voltage depending on the temperature, but we don't need any of that with lithium ion batteries. And that's all, thanks for watching.